Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Transformers fans everywhere, welcome back. LPS, Last Prime Spectator, here to bring you some possible more TF movie news. We are going to be focusing on a little bit on the toys. I know I've been getting on uh, comments saying, LPS, why don't you focus on the comics and the toys as much? Those are part of Transformers as well. I know that. I do read the comics a lot. Toys are a little bit out of my ballpark. you got to go to Rodimus Prime, TM TF Fan Page. Those are the guys that really know the toys. But there has been some leaks from this company. Now, I know I might be a little bit late to it. I know Lazio reported on this. But we may have just gotten our first glimpse or a leak of the leader of the Decepticons. Yes, I'm going to leave it at that. But first, we're going to learn a little bit who is Yellow Park. Who are these people? What company is this? What do they work for? Now, here's their official Facebook page right here, Yolo Park. As you can see, Transformers, Bumblebee, Yolo Park. Now, there's not too much about information about them on the internet. They're a collectible store in uh, Hong Kong, and uh, they are in charge of collectibles. Now, here is their bio on their official YouTube page. Description. We specialize in licensed properties. We has produced toys. I think it means we have. We has produced toys for companies including Disney, Universal, and Hasbro. We design, produce, sell, licensed properties, including the Toy Stories, Cars Stories, Marvel's The Avengers, Despicable Me, Transformers, and Baby Alive. These are This is the description of it. So basically, it's a toy company. Now, why is this so important? Well, because Yolo Park has actually been the one that has been responsible for the this big league. I think this is big news. You guys not might not think it's big news, but... I think this is actually big news because, again, we're getting leaks. We're getting snippets of stuff. Very important. Now, we're going to read over this article um, from uh, Cybertron.com, which we all know that we all rely on Cybertron.com, right? And it basically is about uh, the figure of the Optimus Prime ser uh, toy, which, lo which looks great and everything. But this is going to give you an idea of Yolo Park and the little quote silhouette leak we might have just got so let's read this article and uh you know talk some talk some transformers i'm gonna give you my little opinion or anything if you're new to this channel make sure to consider subscribing turn on all notifications don't forget to like and share this video and don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram at prime speculator so again this is from cybertron.com officially licensed transformers bumblebee movie optimus prime action figure from yolo park revealed now, you can see the date, October 15th. I'm a little late to the party, but again, it's all going to tie in because of this big leak. But I just wanted to go over this article because I think that this is all important. You know Yolo Park. You don't know Yolo Park. Well, you will after you set your optics on the official licensed Transformers Bumblebee movie, Optimus Prime. Thanks to a new post to Yolo Park's Facebook page, we've learned or what we surely will be an amazing new figure. That's right. Not a statue, a figure. We're getting a new toy, we're getting an Optimus Prime toy, right? That clarification will make sense momentarily. Voyager class, leader class. Ha, this is Optimus, which is a fully possessed with 150 points. Arctic collusion, thanks to the unique internal skeleton system, stands at 24 inches tall. No, you read that correctly. This Optimus Prime action finger clocks in, effectively called Titan class at 24 inches tall. Wow, this is a big boy. This is a big boy. Big boy. No formal word or release date or price, but with this bot size, with this much detail and internal mechanism, it's likely to carry a hefty price tag. But hey, YOLO, right? Pfft. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm assuming this is going to be a very, very expensive toy. Very expensive toy. Um, the detail is incredible. I mean, if you look at this, I mean, 24 head to toe, right? I mean, look how pretty this thing is. Man, this thing is beautiful. Licensed by Hasbro, so this Yolo, uh, this is a this is a, uh, a a company from Hong Kong that has connection to Hasbro. Look at the detail in this, though. Transformers Bumblebee, Bumblebee the movie, Optimus Prime the seventh Prime. Man, look at how pretty this thing is. Isn't it beautiful? Now, why are we getting Bumblebee toy leaks now? The movie's been out for what over a year. Now check this image out below to be sure that the note at the top, quote, the seventh prime. Yeah, that's what I was uh, thinking about. That's, that was really weird. What did Grandma say about the seventh prime or the seventh prime? Okay. Was that just an Iron Maiden album? 
Am I confused once again? Will this figure in the past or the future movie continuity? Sound off into a firm and let us know your thoughts as we always stay tuned to Cybertron for the ultimate Transformers news. Now here is here is it. Bumblebee, the seventh prime. Hmm. They're hinting something. Weird. Because we know he's a 13th. He's a prophesized 13th. Are they retconning stuff? I'd have to do some research, but that, that's throwing me off. Make sure to leave some comments on, and, and educate me on that one because um, I'm not familiar with that. The seventh prime. Yeah, because we have the 13th. I don't know. I'll have to do some research on that, man. That could be another video, unless you know down down below, or they're, they, they they might be, we might be seeing an official reboot. This might be another snippet of a reboot. I don't know. I'm throwing it out there. I'm, I'm, I I don't have really any information, but we're starting to get some toy leaks of everything. That is weird. The seventh prime. You guys know you you, you let me know. That that's throwing me off. It's beautiful though. Okay. But, so, we, we got this toy leak, right? And we know Yolo Park and everything we got. Well, here's the main thing. This is what really is intriguing about this and a little focus on this video. Now, check this out right here. This is from TFW2005.com, which we're all familiar about. Now, Yolo Park, we just kind of went over what they are. You know, they're affiliated with, the, they're a, uh, a Hong Kong company affiliated with Hasbro, right? Now, Yolo Park and Hasbro are giving us our first look of a Megatron design in Bumblebee. Yes, we're getting our first look. Now, if you haven't seen it, let's look. Yolo Park and Hasbro are releasing a statue of the characters from Cybertron's scene. As I was swiping through, I noticed a silhouette and his head shape is... And you know who that is right there. That is Megatron. That is Megatron. Megatron, now, now, now here, here's the thing, right? There's always rumors that Megatron's scene was cut out in the Cybertron scene. Again, we're getting the toys now that they're, they're leaking this out in the silhouette, which we all know the way that's standing, the way the head form is, that's Megatron. And I know I'm gonna, I, I've seen some of the comments. Where's this cannon? He could be pointing like this. At the end of the day, who cares? That is the leader of the Decepticons right there. Now, why are we getting this now? He wasn't in the movies. Now, I know they release toys out that, that, that come out, you know, at the end of the day, Hasbro's all about that money. They're all about those toys. But this is significant because if you were if you were to check out my video yesterday, I'll leave the link up there in the description. There was rumors of the Transformers 1990 uh, Transformers movie come out. And the main focus will be Megatron and Frank Walker is returning. Now, again, these are just rumors. These are just leaks. These are just things. But we're getting a lot of information. Why this is so ironic, though, is they're releasing this silhouette scene. Now... I've always wondered, and I've always hoped, and this has always been my hope. This is what I've always wanted Transformers movies to do, is I wanted them, you know how they focused on Bumblebee? I want the next movie to be Optimus Prime. I want them to focus, if you're building a cinematic universe, you have to focus on a certain character, a certain character, develop a story for it. Now, we know that they, from the article we read again from the Transformers 1990, that they wanted to, they brought to bring in Power Rangers, and they want to bring in G.I. Joes, along with Transformers. Transformers is their moneymaker. This is what I would love them to do, and I wish they, I hope they do this. I don't know if they will. This is just speculation I'm throwing out there. What if they went a completely different route and went this route and introduced the first Transformers movie after Bumblebee, a Megatron movie? Go completely different. You know, as much as I would love to see an Optimus Prime movie, and you know I want to see an Optimus Prime movie, I would love to see a Megatron movie. You could build a cinematic universe that way. You could actually find the G.I. Joes. I believe it was the Snake. I can't remember what G.I. Joe found Megatron. But you could use that storyline, build your own story, and have one of the G.I. Joes find Megatron and build it that way and start the story that way. Instead of just having the good guys win, why not start with the bad guys winning, Right? Why not start with the bad guy origins, the leader of the Decepticons, Megatron, one of the most popular Transformers, and you know one of the most popular characters in pop culture in general, one of the top, most popular villains. I put him up there with Darth Vader and Thanos. Megatron's up there. That's how you would start. You could literally build your cinematic universe and make one of the one of the GI Joes find it, find Megatron instead of making it Archibald Woodwicky who found him in, in the Bayverse. Why don't you set it up and make it this way? 
where you have Megatron on a mission, crash landed, whatever, anything. You know, that, that's your guys' job. You guys do the writing, okay? I could do a speculation down the road on that. But that's what I would do. I would focus Megatron and build your story arc with him. Especially with this silhouette. This is so beautiful. Again, this could be just some toilet. And it, it very well could be. And I could be jumping to conclusion because I do jump to conclusions. I get excited. I'm desperate for news. I'm desperate for content to talk about, right? But this right here, we're getting image leaks. Yolo Park is sending this out. We already saw it in, in the seventh prime. It's almost like a story is slowly being teased and built around this. Now, again, I have to do research. So if you if there is a seventh prime story, I unfortunately have not learned that one, and I'm very intrigued, and I will do research on that. But you could set this up this way, where literally you're starting to witness, or we might be seeing a build or a snippet of a cinematic universe being built. Now, again, I could be totally wrong. And if I'm totally wrong, I will totally admit it. I don't care. I, you know, this is my channel. I'm going to talk about what I want. But this is Megatron. This is a silhouette piece of Megatron. I'd like to know who that one is next to it. But Yolo Park is releasing stuff. There is teasers coming out. There is there is information B. There's slowly articles coming out. There's chatter going on. There's chatter going on in the Transformers live action movie franchise. And there's stuff. I think All Spark Studios is coming. They want to make a statement. And there's money to be made. But think about it again. Start... You, the way Bumblebee ended, right? We saw all of the, the the Autobots come down. Why not make it that the first contact, other than Charlie and B, with you know a uh, Bumblebee and Prime, why not make a GI Joe find Megatron, just like just like the comics and just like the cartoons, and and tie in your own story? You could totally set up a way to connect a universe, and it would require good writing, and it would be something so awesome and so badass. I'm very excited, guys. Now, again, this could be just something very small that I could just be uh, blowing smoke up your asses. Excuse my French. But what do you guys think? Are you guys excited about this silhouette leak? Because I think this is a big, big deal. If you're new to this channel, make sure to consider subscribing. Turn on all notifications. Don't forget to like and share this video. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Prime Speculator. Guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, this is LPS here to bring you another video. Peace.